I just <laughs> went to his house last week. He's a great guy. His basement is disgusting, but welcome to the show again, Mark. What's happening, man? Yeah, your ass was right here last Sunday, and you know you had a ball. And and you know what? You were melting down kind of like Philly was a bit there, you know? You, you lucked out in the end. You got the win, but, you know, you're welcome anytime. Hell yeah. As long as you don't become a backstabber like this mother humper underneath of me. Oh, baby, you're, you're yeah. a baby. All right, well, since you brought him up, um, we got Mark Holmes' son. <laughs> Philly 500. Come on, Mark Holmes. Philadelphia Eagles right now. Welcome to the show, Philly. You good? You Look, hear me? Philly? Yeah. Now I hear you. <laughs> You're a fucking big yeah, bat. <laughs> I got more show, combs man. on. I got more combs on loop. He's, <laughs> he's he's streaming on his channel too, right? I bet he's streaming on his channel. Hell That's yeah, what got, it is. That's why got, I hear it. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm doing great. I'm Last doing great. Week. Mark Holmes is my daddy, by the way. Oh, yeah, I know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunate about that. I'm going to have to make a bet with him, too, when we play them. But lastly on the channel, we got a superstar, Mr. Almost 80,000 subscribers. If you're a Lakers fan, you're a Yankees fan, or a New York Giants fan, you or are a NASA subscribed. Fan. Mr. That, Bad Dog that's Sports right. in the building. Welcome to the show, man. What is going on, people? Look at this guy over here, man. Take that freaking clipper. Shave this thing off your face, man. I can't. I, I got to hide on. the three chins behind my head. That is, that is a mess, whatever the hell you got going oh, on over there. This is, this is called chin hider. That's your <laughs> All three of them? The triple chin. <laughs> chin hider. Okay. I only got one of those, okay. but we can hide it with the best. I got oh, two yeah. if you need one. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're we're four weeks into the season. <laughs> we're four weeks into the season right now, and Mark Holmes you know, is a like, bum. We're past. We're past. <laughs> we're past don't hate me. Of- don't hate me, motherfucker. Just because your team is ass, okay? Oh, <laughs> don't man. hate me. So- so who is the worst team in the division right now? Let's start Eagles. with you, Philly. Giants. Is, it, is it you guys? The Eagles. Giants. I, I'll, I'll, Eagles. Just, I'll leave. Giants. I'll stay out of this one. I'll, I'll let y'all bottom feed. Eagles. Them. Eagles. <laughs> fight Eagles it out. Atlanta and Atlanta. Giants. You know, it's, a, it, it's amazing. Had our had dumbass Dexter Lawrence not jumped off sides, I wouldn't even be in this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I feel no. like I could say that about no. Derek Barnett too. Hell yeah. Derek Dexter- Barnett didn't. I mean, honestly, Derek, Derek uh, Slayton, Slayton catches the pass in the end zone. We're not even talking about that. <laughs> yeah, that too, that too. Man. But that's what bad teams do, man. Bad teams find ways to mess it up. I was glad that we actually found a way to uh, win a game. It was nice to see. Forgot what yeah. it's like over here. Right now, I think I think Philly's the worst team in the division, but I, I really don't say that with any confidence because y'all did have a very impressive showing versus Kansas City where y'all hung in for most of the game. Y'all had like a thousand touchdowns taken off the board. How'd you feel about y'all Philly game? I mean, this Kansas City game. <laughs> Hold up. I mean, look. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Rio. <laughs> Rio. You almost lost Atlanta. <laughs> We did and lose to Atlanta. And Giants have, did lose to Atlanta. That's have, how I don't understand. Two victories. We have two victories, the, God damn it. How could the Giants, the Giants be better than us? Uh, they I, lost to Atlanta. Are, are, are you sure? Sh- because you we sh- won the last game you know, and you've lost look. three in a row. And you stink. <laughs> we, we lost recency, to Kansas City. It's recency bias. You lost to Atlanta. <laughs> what happens? A loss is a loss. Yeah, you're gonna lose to New Orleans. We beat them. You're gonna lose. Oh, uh, we're gonna beat New Orleans. You lose to them. Jameis Winston gonna, gonna tear you gonna up. Beat. How many? How many points has the Eagles <laughs> given up the last two weeks? Eighty-four. Eighty-four <laughs> points. Oh, yeah. okay. You know, I mean, whoa, I can't wait. I can't wait to go down. The Giants are so good. What happened against the Lions? I can't wait mean? to go down to the stadium on the 28th and watch Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones is over four Bills against the Eagles. That's what's gonna happen. Right. Would you like to chime in, Mark Holmes? I, no, I'm good. I'm good. I, you know, I'll just stay up here, uh, and I, and up I'm here in the penthouse. The this week, I'll Matt stay I'm here my feelings in the quick. penthouse, and I'll just look at the peasants down below fighting it out. And Mark, <laughs> I'm being gross. told by Victor oh, Jimenez that you need to take the bet from Cop Pizzle. You know, what, Victor, a, I'll take the bet, bet if you what put your hair, if it's going to be your hair that we're going to shave. How about that, there, buddy? So we're talking clippers. We're talking haircuts. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mark. Not, I will shave my hair not, with you if not, you lose. Not, I will also shave my hair if you lose. Yeah, well, actually, I'll shave bad it. dog. You win, dude. I, actually, ba- hair ho- hair. Ho- hang on for one. <laughs> hold up for I one have second no hair, here. So we need to get bad dog. You <laughs> can get in on this shit too. Hang on. 
Oh, man, where's he go? You, 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 you chased him away. You chased him away. Oh, here he comes. No, no, no. He's coming with this shirt. We can, we, you can become one of my kids, too, now. You know, I, I turned 56 this, this week on Sunday when we play you. And all I wanted for my birthday was uh, to hit 40,000 subscribers and to kick the Giants' teeks in. So I'm, I'm hoping that other part comes in. But if you want to bet, I, I can put – we can get a baby bad dog – to go here on the shirt, too. Oh, yeah. I need y'all to play the wager right <laughs> here on this live tonight. Yes, what's going to be? I, I, listen. At least you can put shoes I, on listen, me. You, you, if you watch my video, you know I ain't very confident here. Oh, so, I know you're not. <laughs> I'm not I, I, listen, I'm, I'm as honest as you're going to find, man. The Cowboys are a lot better. Than, does that mean we can't win? Of course it does. In any given Sunday, right? Uh, yeah. but God almighty, no. I'm not feeling confident about that. I will say that. I just ate, and that shirt makes me throw up in my mouth a little bit, Mark. I can't lie about that. Did you have an Italian sub? That's an, that's an ugly uh, – no, I didn't have an Italian sub. I wish I did, though. Those are good. I know you have one ready for me. I'm, oh, coming, down, I, I'm listen, coming down to uh, – We're doing a three-foot one. We're doing a three-foot one for Sunday. Because, see, we did a three-foot steak and cheese sub. We played the Eagles, and we kicked that ass. So oh, <laughs> we, we got the three-foot Italian sub we're going to be making on Sunday. So, yeah, it's going to be like right, you do. <laughs> It, it, oh, it, it, look, right. it put a fourth chin on Philly. <laughs> Philly, Philly five, <laughs> five, <laughs> not fourth, fifth, fifth. Philly. Two behind the head. Okay. Philly. State your case why you guys are not the worst team in the division at the moment. Because we we beat a team that the Giants couldn't. So if you're going to go head to head, right? Giants play Atlanta, up. Eagles play Atlanta. That's really what you can determine it on, right? Uh, it's week one, they both though. play head to head. I don't week care if we, I don't care if it was a half a week. So if we beat Dallas, we're better than you then. Yes. Oh, okay. facts. Oh yeah. If you beat yeah. Dallas, you might be the best team in the division right now because. Yeah, you. That's true. <laughs> but that ain't happening. Look at Mark. He's a little worried up there. He he knows I, that anything no, can happen no, in the see, division. See, you know what? Say, I mean, I hate, I, I, I hate to say it, but Dallas is actually pretty good. They are. Oh, they are. They are. They are. I they fucking are. hate them. They're, They're good as hell right now. And, and, they actually and have a I, defense now. I'm hoping the Giants will win just to keep this division close. But if if they don't, I, Dallas could pull away very quickly. You're right. Very which, quickly. Which, somebody, which, which is which is somebody's got an echo. By the way, that Mark Holmes don't want to do this. Yeah, Phil, who got a, who got an echo? It's not me. No, it's probably the ding bat. Muted. <laughs> it's probably the ding bat. Everything's muted. Okay, oh, yeah, it's not doing it now. It's not coming from my side. It's not, okay, there we go. It's gone now. It I was think you, Michael Anthony was taking a nap. No, nah, no. Nah, don't, don't be trying to – son. <laughs> son, look. Th this isn't Cain and Abel, okay? We're not having my kids fighting here, okay? Ch chill out. Really, how long do you have to wear that thing? I, to Saturday. Through Saturday. So, you know, the thing is, though, he's actually enjoying this too much. You know, because I, I literally was just like, I just want to see you wear it one time. He was like, no, I got to wear it all week. I, yeah, I got to wear it all week. And every, I'm, I'm Mark Holmes. Is, What's Mark going Holmes on, is my daddy. That was, that was the bet, Mark. All right, Mark. Uh-oh. How do you feel about this matchup y'all have with the Giants Sunday? And how far ahead of you are, are you guys than the rest of the division? Or is it still too early to call? If you want okay, here's the thing. Now, on paper, Cowboys should – be head and shoulders ahead of the Giants and destroy them. We should. I'm sorry, Daniel Jones is not the guy. Daniel Jones. He's balling, though. Although he's he's played better this year, but hey, still. It's still Daniel Jones. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> but it's football. You know, if you looked at the game last night, if um, on the touchdown pass, if there wasn't that holding for Seattle, if their field goal kicker had then hit the field goal, either way, those points, or – on the Matthew Stafford big pass down the field, if they had called the the looked like a W E takedown holding with the <laughs> running back on there, they wouldn't have gotten the score. Seattle wins the game. Okay? Sure. And things like that happen and it's a division game. And see, my take this year is I'm not going to any game being confident that we're gonna win. Okay. I'm just gonna chill out, be cool. That's the way I was with the Eagles and things, and, and just see what happens. I don't wanna be up here like cop pizzle over here, you know, <laughs> ah, we gonna man, don't man, stop smoking the crack. Just stop Take smoking the, the crack. Asia um, says hi to you guys, by the way. What's Asia up, Robinson. Asia, my Asia. lady? Are our Yankees our Yankees stunk, Asia. It's it's a shame. It's a shame. The, the good thing on the Cowboys if that I look at for, at least for this season is for once, the Cowboys have been able to weather losing players. 
because we lost Zach Martin the first game because of COVID. You know, you lose Zach Martin, usually your offensive line is going to go to crap. We lost Lyle Collins for missing seven drug tests, you know, a la uh, the dog <laughs> ate my homework, um, you know, and we end up getting a undrafted rookie uh, free agent last year who's playing balls to the wall here, and you don't even miss him. You lose both of your defensive ends, and you get a rookie who steps in and looks better than Demarcus Lawrence. And so, you know, I feel good about the rotation and the depth that we have, as well as, believe it or not, our, our coordinators I feel good about. Not so much about Mike McCarthy, but I, I feel like this team, for once, is beginning to get themselves together. But it's a long season. It's only the first four games. One of you mother humpers are going to rise up and all of a sudden start playing great because that's the way it always is. Don't count anybody out just yet. Okay. Um, somebody just said <clears throat> Jalen Smith will be missed in Dallas. Was that the case? Who? Jalen Smith. Someone said Jalen Smith will be missed in Dallas. Who? Do you believe so? <laughs> oh, that's how you feel? I, just, I didn't want us to sign him. Our fans were crying for, oh, my God, we need him. He's not very good right now. Um, he, Jerry Jones kind of admitted that he's still dealing somewhat with the drop foot. Love Jalen Smith as a person, an individual, but he, he's, he's a liability in coverage. And he can't change direction. And that's the truth. Oh, and he was a backup player right now. And if you look at where we're at in Cap we're at Cap Hell next year, nine point two million dollars is a big chunk of change. So, you know, it's a business. All right, this one goes out for Bad Dog Philly and myself. I'm gonna go last. I'm gonna let whoever would like to start with this one. Mark, you go ahead and sit back. Do you guys feel like your current quarterback of the future is currently on your roster? Whoever would like <sighs> to go first, take the floor. I'll just say uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm literally in between. I have no idea. A lot of Eagle fans don't think so. A lot of them do. I, I really undecided yet. I need to see a, a lot more than eight games uh, to determine that. Okay. Bad dog? Uh, I mean, <laughs> for me, it's always tough because uh, anybody that watches me knows <laughs> – my opinion of Daniel Jones is uh, Daniel Jones. It's my opinion of Daniel Jones changes from week to week, man. It's to me, <clears throat> Daniel Jones has a skill set to be a, a very good NFL quarterback. I, he throws a very good deep ball. He's athletic. He can run. He's he's very accurate down the field. Uh, my problem with Daniel Jones has always been his um, lack of going through progressions and his confidence factor. I don't I don't ever feel, sometimes I don't feel like he plays a confidence. You saw a confident quarterback against New Orleans. That type of performance is there to be had for Daniel Jones, and he has played really well the last three games. I mean, sometimes it doesn't show up in the scoreboard. We've had a hard time in the red zone. Some of that has to do with play calling. Some of that has to do with guys dropping passes. Um, If you're asking me right now, I mean, he's definitely improved this year, Um, but I don't know. I really don't. It's it's hard after year three. I mean, I know year four, they'll make a decision on what they want to do with him. And I th- really think this was the year. This was the year of Daniel Jones played consistently at a, a – not at a, like an elite level, but a very good level and proved that he could do what he did in New Orleans, which is lead the Giants to victories when we needed it to, then I think he will be. But I think we have to see that the entire season. I think this was a make-or-break season for Daniel Jones. So far, he's making it. I don't think there's any doubt about that. He is certainly not the reason the Giants are 1-3. and three, I can tell you that. Oh, he's definitely not. And his biggest issue is that he doesn't get to play Washington 17 weeks a season because his best hey, football also. always comes against us. Well, maybe we can play New Orleans 17 <laughs> weeks a season now because he had a career day there. So, oh, yeah, you know. he's, he's a baller. And a lot of people think that he's trash because of all the fumbles. It's very inconsistent, but Daniel Jones has talent. Like, if he was groomed in the right system with the right coaches, I think he could be really good. He's athletic. He, has, he fits the mold of today's NFL quarterback Mm -hmm. which leads me to our quarterback at the moment taylor heineke what do you guys think about taylor heineke because he's a fun story for us he he went to odu he likes to crack beers he's a he's a little guy with not the biggest arm but he's exciting and he makes plays but realistically speaking i don't think we could plan our future around the guy but for right now he'll do as outsiders in the division what do you guys see from taylor heineke i'm gonna start with mark what do you see from our quarterback Screw the beer and get hard liquor. 
That's all you got? <laughs> you need nah, to you're drink. Not just, man. Nah, you're not about to just short answer me all night because y'all in first place. <laughs> Fuck that. You don't give an answer with some goddamn <laughs> elaboration behind it. I mean, nice story and everything else, but you got to get yourself a real quarterback. Next year, you know, to me, you, you guys putting all your eggs in the, the Ryan Fitzpatrick bandwagon. Oh, yeah, Ryan Fitzpatrick. If he does this, he can be uh, – it's like, dude. That's where you messed up right there. We all know Ryan Fitzpatrick is literally the bridesmaid, okay? He's just holding the space (laughs) for the next guy. So you're supposed to have the next guy there, and I don't think Heineke is the guy. I could be wrong. He may win you some games, but when when you look at some of the quarterbacks that are out there, I mean, you know, you look at a Russell. He's not a Russell Wilson type that's going to be able to put the team on the back. You know, he'll service you. He's a great backup, but he's not a franchise quarterback. Look, I mean, he makes all he makes all. I mean, throws, I mean, he's kind of like and he, he's kind of he like hurts in the fourth quarter too. <laughs> he'll service you. How did you come up? He'll service you. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Pause there. Okay. What's up, Asia Robertson? I didn't miss you. Okay. <laughs> Pause, <laughs> Philly. Mark Mister. No, no, we didn't miss you. Okay. Oh yeah, appreciate all the subs. Appreciate Marcos everybody in the chat. Marcos does service me, and I think Heineke. Like, he could play good enough for us to win the division if our defense ever shows up because I don't know why Chase Young and the guys have not arrived to 2021 yet, and that is why we look the way we look right now. But who does have the best defense in the division? Is it fucking Dallas a year after being a shit show dumpster fire? Like, who has the best defense in the division right now? Right now, Dallas. I mean, I I don't – Washington has really surprised me. I I thought your defense was going to be a lot better <laughs> you than it has been. What happened to Chase what Old? Happened? Who? Chase Old. Chase Old. Yeah, I know. That's what it looks like right now. He's just pity, he's pity patting with guys. And like last year, like every game he had a bad game. We would say, oh, he's getting doubled. He's getting chip blocked. He's mm-hmm. no, he's not getting to the quarterback. He is fucking athletic Ryan Kerrigan right now. That's what uh, he's are doing you sure it's athletic Ryan Kerrigan? Because hey, he's not athletic. beating I mean, he's average really tackles fast. now. Past the quarterback. He has zero sacks through four games. And it's not even the fact that he has zero sacks. He's actually getting handled one-on-one. Fucking Andrew Thomas did his job versus him. <laughs> Slater bullied him. And Atlanta doesn't even have a good offensive line. And he didn't have an impact on the game for the most part. But I don't know what's going on with our fucking defense. How is y'all defense, bad dog? Well, I think the Giants have given up the fewest amount of points in the NFC East. But – that's misleading because, I mean, we, we give up a lot of yards. We're really bad on third down. That's something that's – and fourth down. I mean, Denver all game went forward on fourth down. They converted all the time. It's been a problem for a couple of years now getting off the field in third down, which is why we have no time of possession. But that's Patrick Graham's soft shell zone, which I can't stand. I mean, anybody, again, that's watching the streams, don't say scream about soft zone. Third down and 16, you play soft zone. You let them complete underneath and make the tackle. Third down and four – not probably the smartest thing to do. We're having two down linemen uh, from the two yard line. <laughs> Not the smartest defensive alignment. So um, I think the defense is getting better. I don't think it's at the level it was last year. And I think Dalvin Tomlinson has a lot to do with that. Leonard Williams has been invisible. Uh, Aziz Ojolari has definitely been a pleasant surprise. There's no doubt about that. And I think our secondary struggled a little bit, but we'll uh, we'll see. They are getting better. It's, it, they definitely look better in the fourth quarter against New Orleans. And Atlanta only scored 17. It's just. For whatever reason, our defense lets down right before the half. We always give up points before the half. Like, anytime a team has the ball before the half or at the end, of the, we just let them go right down and score. I don't know what the hell that is, but they got to tighten that up. They got to get off the field on third down. They got to stop allowing teams to score before the half. Um, I think they'll get better. I think the Giants' defense is good. I think the secondary is really good, but they got to perform better than they have. That's for sure. Yeah, I can definitely relate on the soft zone because I don't know what the fuck jack del rio is doing this year but our corners are like fucking nine yards off the ball every play and the middle of the field is wide open to start it and we have no backers but and you got no name yeah we don't have a name that's why how can you have not a name for two years (laughs) yeah because well it's coming early oh they got a name wait wait they got a name most wanted (laughs) 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 oh yeah if you guys yeah we got csi going on there's always something going on in Washington, in Ashburn. So apparently our head trainer is fucking Walter White from Breaking Bad because we nice. were raided. We had Washington, we had Washington Park raided Bad. by the DEA and FBI last week, you know? Just a normal day in Ashburn. And this John Gruden story where he allegedly emailed a racist remark about 
NFLPA guy, Demora Smith. It had to go to Bruce Allen when he was the president here in Washington. So there's never a slow day here, you know. Never. We can't just be bad in peace. Well, we got to be. You, you might be good guys if the FBI and stuff were raiding in today's world. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, <laughs> oh man. Well, well can, so, can I ask Bad Dog a question here? Go for it. Bad Dog, if you were the defensive coordinator and you were staring down the uh, shotgun of the Dallas Cowboys offense, what would you do to try and stop them? <laughs> Man, it's it's tough. I mean, you guys, your offense is really good. And seeing Zeke become Zeke again, yeah, um, right. that's scary. I mean, when you guys are the most effective, you run the ball effectively because Dak is really good on play action. So it's mm – -hmm. It's you got. I don't know. I really don't know. We would have to take some chances defensively, if you ask me. We're gonna have to try to force some turnovers. Uh, I don't really like blitzing Dak because I feel like he's very good at reading it. He's very mm -hmm. good at, at getting the ball out quickly, and he's mobile. So if he gets away from the rush, it can be a really deep play. But I don't think you can sit back in your hands and let Dak tear you up all day underneath either. It's a it's a tough predicament. I wouldn't want the job of trying to stop Dallas. But honestly, Mark, if I'm going to make a concerted effort to stop them, we got to stop Zeke. That, that to me, everything starts with not just him, but Tony Pollard. To me, if we can stop Dallas's run or at least limit their run and put them in second and third and long, yeah. we definitely have a better chance. If you're third and three all day, you're going to kill us. Because, again, Dak's mobility can get him a first down. His ability to get away from the rush, he's killed us with big plays like that in the past. So, if we have any chance, we're going to have to shut down Zeke. That To me, that would be the focal point of what I do on defense is trying to limit Zeke and make Dak – if we're gonna if you're going to beat us, make Dak throw for 400 yards and beat us. But I'm not letting Zeke beat us. I'm, I'm stopping him completely, or I'm going to do my best to stop him completely, uh, not let you wear down our defense, not let you control the clock, and, mm -hmm. and make Dak beat us with the pass. That's what I would do if I was a defense coordinator. Yeah. I agree. you got to take the balance away from him. It's going to be interesting yeah. to see how – if this is going to be an emotional game that, you know, it's literally 364 days away from when he messed up his ankle against you guys, how the team reacts. Is this vengeance game and we're all going all in, or is this more of an emotional game and it ends up being a slugfest? Uh, it's going to be interesting. And this you is think where, it's going to be a slugfest with uh, the Giants? Well, you know what? It's still Jason It's Garrett. the NFC East. It's, it's still, the and, NFC And, you East, know, our because yeah, even – even when you guys were good, you always had a hard time with, with the Giants. You know, it's just one of those things. We all know each Who? other so well. Uh, the oh, Eagles. Geez. Eagles and Giants. Where do we have problems with the Giants? Oh, you know we what? We own the Giants. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all always have issues with the Giants. No, we don't. Just wait till the fourth quarter. Bad dog will tell you. All we have to do is just wait till the fourth Something quarter. Something always happens, don't it? <laughs> Everything happens. But, but, it's, but it's in doubt. It's always close, you know. Even when no, you're, that's true. Yeah, it's always it's going to be a close game. No, it's going to be a close and, game. And you know, it's, Rio, it's, it's always close. I mean, Dak is. We've kicked your ass, you know, with with Dak and stuff. But it was always like a Kirk Cousin would throw an interception in the end zone. We get a drive all the way down and win the game. Or uh, like um, when Tony Romo was out, it ended up being you know uh, Deshaun Jackson goes backwards on a punt, fumbles on the six yard line, we get <laughs> it, kick a field shit. goal and win. It you know, or the the snap, okay? Remember the, the they called us for the um the field goal the for field the goal. guy moving Hell the ball. Yeah. It's always some crazy <laughs> shit where these games are tight. It's this division. Yeah. It's this division. It's a fucking show. That's why like I don't expect you guys to blow the Giants out at all. Ooh. I expect a fucking dog fight. Yeah. So what are you two betting on it? Or y'all saving that for another time? Yeah, I'm not bet. I'm not better. Like, than Listen, I, I understand. There, was, there was a day when I was a trash talker on here, and uh -huh. yeah, you got to come out every week. But like, oh, we're gonna kick your ass. But then when you try to face reality, yeah. and you look at your team, and you look at who you're playing, and I say, no, on paper, no, we should. Not. When Dallas is what an eight point favorite, this is well, it's in Dallas, so maybe maybe it actually helps us. We usually it play does. good in Dallas. It's we don't have a home field is. advantage in Dallas. Everybody comes to Dallas, and yeah, we have – it's a 50-50 crowd in Dallas. It really is. The funny thing is people make all these bets on YouTube, but they never take the points into consideration. I'm like, listen, if you're going to bet me, you give me the points. Otherwise, if I'm taking the money line, I'm going to Vegas and making my damn right. money. I'm getting <laughs> plus 165 in the Giants. I'm taking the life. I'm taking the Giants straight up. Yeah. Why wouldn't you do that? I always said that. People on YouTube got no idea how to bet. I'm going to bet you straight up. I ain't doing it. I ain't stupid. I'm a businessman. I'm going to get my damn money. There you go. This is how it goes. <laughs> hey, Asia Robinson, email me, CowboysMark94, Gmail with your address so that way I can get it to you. Because um, that's the only way I, I know is if you send me your address. Okay, so I'll get you taken care of. 
But honestly, if we, maybe if we'd beaten Atlanta and beat Washington, maybe I would. I still even just look at the way we play. Dallas is really good. Dallas is a yeah. very good team. They really yeah. are. I mean, they're one of the best teams in the league. They if are. we're being honest, they're I they're very they're- balanced. They can be. I, I think uh, if we're going to be. See, I see what y'all about. Y'all, y'all trying to make me feel confident. <laughs> shit. See, y'all. Ah, no. uh, I see the game. If here. we, if we're going to no, beat you, we Mark, sorry, we Dan, suck. Daniel Jones gonna have to throw for three hundred yards. You, if we're going to beat you, got your second there. I know Trayvon Diggs has five interceptions and he's Player of the Month, but that's the and that's the, week. the weakest spot of your. That's the weakest spot of your defense, in my opinion, is a secondary. And Anthony we got to take chances. The Giants can't go in here all uh, conservative and shit. They have to be aggressive on offense and defense. They have to be. We we have to. We have to freaking die with our boots on against this damn team and go all out. It's Dallas. It's what are you saving now. it for? We want to whoop their ass. We hate Dallas. So Why it's time. hate us so much? Jason yeah. Garrett's got to let the cat out of the bag. Uh, fuck see, Dallas. See, that's Jason your, Garrett. That, that bad dog, that's your problem. See, you now understand what it felt like to be a Dallas Cowboy fan because we would do everything right, and the paper says you should win the damn game, but yet somehow we'd find some crazy-ass bullshit way to lose it like you did against Washington. Yeah, it's called you stink. (laughs) Hey, hey, Philly, Philly, can you read between the lines there, buddy? Read between the lines. Um, Philly can't can't read, read, Mark. Come on. I can't read. I use my Oh, shit. (laughs) <laughs> Philly, y'all got, <laughs> Philly, y'all got Carolina coming up this weekend. Dallas kind of exposed them. Well, did they expose them or are they just a better team? But do you guys, do y'all have a shot versus Carolina this weekend? I mean, I think we have we have a shot. I think we have a better shot than we had last week. But we, we've got to do some things. I mean, I don't think if, if the Eagles cannot get pressure on Sam Darnold, they're not going to win this game. And, and one of the things I really think that what has hurt the Eagles, one of the things, on defense was losing Brandon Graham. I think that was such a big loss for that defense. And and they haven't found anybody to get production at the defensive end spots. Um, only Hargrave is playing really good on the line. And beast. if you don't get pressure on, on Darnold, uh, you're not going to win, you know? And and so I, I would like to see the Eagles run the ball, use miles more and get pressure on Darnold. If they can do those two things, they're going to have a chance this game. But it's far from giving. I mean, look, I, I'm with bed. I'm not. I'm not making any more predictions or anything because the reality is, is this team, they've got to go out and show that they can win some of these games. Philly, why, <clears throat> why Nick Sirianni getting cute? Didn't didn't he watch? I mean, he's your head coach. <clears throat> Excuse right. me. So getting cute. What exactly was he watching after Week One when you guys <laughs> had the perfect game plan against Atlanta, which is run the ball. Have Jalen Hurts throw it underneath some nice, safe, right. short passes, and let Jalen Hurts use his legs. Yeah, what, I, I what, what the hell is what the hell is he doing? <clears throat> Making Jalen Hurts throw fifty times? That's not going to I, win. I, I I totally agree with you. I don't get it. You know, it's funny because you get these coaches, and and maybe you you felt it too before uh, all of you guys really. But you get these coaches, and they they talk a great game in the offseason. Well, we're going to develop the talent. We're going to build our offense well, yeah, around know. the talented players and what guys you know. <clears throat> And then they go out there and they do the complete opposite. It, it, it makes no sense to me. Uh, even in the Dallas game, you know, uh, we, when we were down, it was still 27-14. The Eagles had just scored, got the ball back late in the third quarter. And, and and it was like, if you could just get one sustained drive and run the ball here, you may get back in this game in the fourth quarter. And they just don't do it. And then even last week, the game plan was better. A lot of short, quick passes. But Miles Sanders, had think, had seven carries. This is a guy that could go, you know, he could carry the ball one time for two yards, two times for five yards, three times for two yards. And then on that fifth carry, he goes 60, 70 yards. You got to get him the ball. And and the way they treat Miles Sanders is like, like, you know, like he's just another player. I think it's a big mistake. Build your team around the run game and 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 help your rookie quarterback. Because Hurts is a rookie quarterback in my mind. And uh, he, like yes. in, that, in that Dallas game, if you remember the Monday night, from like the second to third quarter, he looked completely rattled, mm-hmm. and they did nothing to help him. Because I agree. I mean, I mean, right now I was excited about everything this coach said, but he has he doesn't do what he says, and and so I'm I'm kind of disappointed with that, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, Joe Judge did the same thing here. Joe Judge talks really good game, but do you see how conservative we are all the damn time? 
Right. And then uh, the, the first week when he threw that challenge flag after Denver scored, I really that sent me off the edge. I'm like, how are you going to preach fundamentals? You don't know the damn rule, Joe. Right. <laughs> Come oh, on, God. man. I mean, what are you What are you doing? What are you preaching here? And how are we so undisciplined all the damn time? All the old oh, fundamentals, fundamentals. Maybe they should stop freaking running. Maybe they're spending too much time running and not enough time working on plays, Joe. <laughs> now, now, I, now, I, now Ooh, I here come the judge. Here come the judge. <laughs> I do have a conspiracy. Bad dog knows I love conspiracies. This guy works at NASA. He knows. <laughs> but, but the whole thing with 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 the passing game, uh, you know, one of the reasons why Doug Peterson kind of left was because of this. He was kind of fighting over, you know. A kind of control with Howie Roseman and stuff like that. And apparently last year, every Tuesday, they would call Doug Peterson in and have meetings with him. And even in wins, like going up and beating Green Bay and Green Bay, they would be like, why are you running the ball so much? And they would keep promoting him to pass it. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe, maybe, just maybe Nick Sirianni is a yes man. And he's not allowed to, to run the ball more. I'm just saying, <clears throat> maybe. you got to wonder. That's not He's the Aaron Boone of the Eagles. <laughs> that sucks. Dude. Our, our manager is a yes man See, in baseball. I, I, I mean, that's what it, you got to wonder because everything he says, everything he's going to do, it was been the complete opposite. Well, you know, I, you know what? I can say say that, that that's <laughs> typically how the Cowboys have been run. Um, for whatever reason, Jerry Jones Jerry had yes this a, awakening, you know, and he forgave or basically admitted that he fucked up with Jimmy Johnson. But – Typically, they would hire coaches from within that have always been part of the Cowboys organization. But when they hired Dan Quinn, they kind of gave him full autonomy on what he wanted to do. For us to go out and actually draft a defense, a nose tackle, a true nose tackle, is just like unheard of. And you heard Dan Quinn preach that he wanted length, he wanted fast, he wanted to be physical, and he wanted young guys. And you can look at that and say – he got exactly what he wanted. What, and they what did Dan Quinn want again? Fast and physical young guys and a lot and of length. Else? A lot of length. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Philly, I, you know, it's your anniversary. I don't know why. You know, what, what are you? What's on your mind? Today's your anniversary here. You yesterday was my anniversary. Or yesterday. Oh, okay. okay. Happy anniversary. <laughs> evidently, happy it was anniversary. Uh, evidently, anniversary. it might not have been as happy anniversary as it should have been. Um, Oh, it was. Believe he starts me. worried about length and Believe everything my else legs, here. My legs are light today, buddy. Believe me. Yeah, Man, but so you, like, okay. like everybody. <laughs> might be from carrying those three chins. <laughs> Basically, we're talking about the culture of all our teams right now. And, like, Ron Rivera's come in and do, done so much for the culture. But I'm at the point right now where I don't give a fuck about character concerns. I just want us to get good football players. Like, we sit here – and we don't do things like trade up for a quarterback or trade up for a player like Micah Parsons because he has character concerns, you know. You don't want him in the locker room with the rest of the team, apparently. But look what Micah Parsons is doing right now. We drafted Jamin Davis because he's the cultural fit in the first round. He's the cultural fit. He's everything Ron wants to see in a player, military background. He's fucking done nothing so far. What are you guys getting from your first round picks? Because I don't know – I don't have much bulletin board material or statistics to talk about with mine, who's supposed to be our starting Mike Backer. So, I, Mark, how, how's your first round pick doing right now? I, I can't remember. First round. Who did we draft in the first <laughs> round? Oh, wait a minute. We traded with the Eagles. That's an to, arrogant to, prick to, Cowboys. To, to move back to take Micah Parsons. And then with the third pick that we got from them, we drafted Golston. Golston actually, you know, he's a part-time player, but he got a half a sack. Already. I believe he got more sacks than your guy, Chase Young, right there. He, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know if you heard of Micah. Right now Micah, Micah Micah's actually playing Chase pretty Young. good. Mike is, you know, he he's he's okay. You know, he's got a long ways to go. He's got a lot to learn, but he's doing okay. Okay. I know everybody's Devontae? saying, "Fuck you, Mark." Devontae Smith, Smith, Devontae really? Smith's been fantastic. Uh, Devontae Smith has been great. Yeah, yeah. He, he looked good he against has, Atlanta's even, defense. Even he was great against Atlanta. He was open against Dallas. He was open against San Francisco. There were passes that were missed. Uh, he had his best game last week. Devontae Smith has been everything I could ask for. I have no qualms about about him at all. There, there were there are plays to be made. There were passes that hurts. There are times he missed them, but he's been open. He's been good, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with Devontae Smith. 
Hey, Mark, before we get to bat, dog, somebody said you got hair plugs. That's why there's no bat. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, I've got I hair plugs. Mm, yeah. <laughs> See, I want Mark this, to shave his head, it. and I want Bad Dog to wear a toupee. <laughs> why are we betting haircuts, though? Like that's that's I'm telling you that, that's white shit. frat like, boy brother, shit. Brother, brother, yeah, yeah, that's that frat boy shit. We don't we don't do shit like that. That's a sensitive well, ass subject for us. <laughs> serious, man. That, that's like shit. Hey, I didn't make the hair bet. Hey, how's how is Kadarius Tony treating y'all down there in New York? Well, we didn't know for a few weeks because he never <laughs> saw the field. He never had the ball thrown him. For uh, the first couple of weeks, everybody on the panel actually had more receiving yards for Kadarius <laughs> than Kadarius Tony because through the first two weeks, he had two car- two catches for minus two yards. Then he caught a couple passes against Atlanta, and then we saw what the kick can do against New Orleans. I mean, third down at 18, they throw a four-yard slant. He makes nine guys miss, and then he gets the, the first down extremely uh, explosive, impossible to tackle in the open field. It reminded me of Dante Hall a little bit out there. He mm-hmm. He's electric. I mean, this – sure. I don't want to compare him to Odell because Odell was legendary, okay? Odell was the most talented receiver in the league in his prime. But the way he can make people miss, the way he can make big plays out of, you know, short passes, that's pretty encouraging. We'll have to see more. Kadarius Tony definitely – he dropped a couple passes too. Um we see what he can do. We saw the the talent, the the set, the, you know, the skill set. But he's got to be more consistent. We saw it in one game, so it's encouraging what he did against New Orleans. But I can't sit here and tell you he's going to be great. I'll be honest. I I, I wanted Michael Parsons badly. I, I wanted here, um, without a doubt. And <laughs> I've never said. Really, will tell you this. I, I do. I don't think Jalen Hurts is going to be very good. I did not like Jalen Rager at all. But I've never said a bad thing about Devontae Smith. I, I think Devontae Smith will be a very good receiver in this league. He he Definitely. might need a biscuit or two. I mean, he's he's Definitely. small. I think my son, my four year old son, weighs more than Devontae he's Smith. He's got to put on yeah. weight. I can but, help him out with that. But he's he's, he's going to be a really good receiver. I have no doubt Devontae Smith will be a star in this. Yeah, he's he's, he's really good. He's very technically sound, and he he runs his routes like like yeah. it's not. I don't think it was a bad comp coming into the league that he could be like Marvin Harrison because that's the type of receiver he's, he is. He's good. He's good. Not. A, he, I, I think C.D. Lamb's the man. No, you, you, really that's good. my guy. But yeah, but uh, I think really Devontae Smith be really good. I knew C.D. Lamb. I wanted. To, I, I tried it. Oh, I, I, tried know, it. I remember. I remember. Yeah, I, I, Mark, I, where wait is a it? <laughs> Mark, where is it? Mark. Oh yeah. Are, are we really going to do on, that? Mark. Too? Are we really going to do? your cue? Oh, Mark shit. does it now. I go to Bad Dog's channel and he's got it all queued up too. <laughs> oh, I'd fire his ass. I'd fire <laughs> Motherfucker. I, I, know, I know you guys all got streams to get to. So y'all are all streaming tonight, right? No. What oh, you're not streaming. I'm, at, I'm doing some matrimonial right? duties. Oh, okay. Okay, you about to get that? You gotta get your one, your one sex session for the year. You know how married for the year. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't know Italian. <laughs> true, true. No, Shout no. out to y'all. <laughs> That's just hysterical. Oh boy, Phil. I fires ass. Philly, you, you're the gift that keeps giving, man. I you, you know what? The, I just think I, it's I, hilarious that he calls me the mad dog. He is way more mad than I am. You don't no, no. have Derek Cornett on your team. Hey, Mark, someone said you need a, mark, a meltdown camera for all three of us. Well, you know, I actually, I, well, I had. Uh, I thought I was good. That, like, that's I what's, you know, that's what's game. crazy. Like, melt down. Every, after every week, he's like, well, at least I didn't melt down. And I'm like, dude, have you, you, <laughs> he you know. down like five times by halftime. I, saw I mean, it seriously, <laughs> we're all sitting here. We're like, oh, here it comes. Here it and, yeah, and, I mean, Jalen Hurts and Pitt Six, bro, that was beautiful. I don't remember. The, the shit is, what was it? How'd it go? Stupid throw! It, it, the one this past week with Derek Barnett. Smash oh, my God. Derek oh, Barnett. Man. What the fuck are you doing, Derek Barnett? I never wanted your ass. <laughs> and he's like, I'm I didn't, so I didn't melt guy. down. I feel you, though. I feel like my life, I'm definitely going to die one day because of Washington. Because they like we can't have fucking normal games. All our games have to feel like cardiac arrest by the time the fourth quarter comes. <laughs> like, that's my life here. Like, I'm like here. I'm a battered spouse. At least you've seen Super Bowls, though. Like, I've never seen an 11 win season in my fucking yeah, life. It's been a while. Never. That shit hurts. Mm. We've never seen back to back division titles. I think, I think you guys should just start with getting a team name. 
<laughs> that, that is a good start. Look, start. You're on the right how, path. How I mean, about you, one you week giants, without being in the headlines? Daniel Jones, so you're, you're moving forward. And we finally beat Matt Ryan because he was 5-0 and versus us, too. There so you we go. go. You know, we're, go. we're starting to be slump busters in the you, opposite let me, direction. Let me ask you a question, Rio. What's that? Um, is there any quarterbacks that you would like to see this team go out and try to get? Because you guys really need a quarterback. Oh, absolutely. Anybody. A, <laughs> I wish to God, like, like the football guys loved us enough to let us have Rodgers, but I don't see why he would want to come to this situation. He's a Cali boy or a West Coast. I see him going to Denver. I see him going out to Miami. What about High Deshaun with, Watson? If it wasn't for the 17,000 allegations, I, I would do everything it takes. You could take any player on the roster not named Terry McLaurin, and I'd go for Watson. I think the a realistic trade option, if it's a veteran, it'll be like Derek Carr. Or Matt Ryan. About but, Jimmy G. Uh, after after what I saw last night, it might be Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson <laughs> and Pete Carroll. <laughs> no, Virginia. those two, they need a divorce <laughs> bad. They, they need to be, I guarantee you Russell is I going to force him in. I don't want Russell Wilson. But ultimately, Washington. I think we take a first-round quarterback. I think we go get like a Malik Willis or Matt Corral out of Ole Miss. Or we're going to trade up for someone next year because we have no choice. Oh, oh, unless we organically acquire a top five pick by sucking. Because as of the first four weeks of the season, I'm not sure if we're going to be a good team yet this year. Right, right. now, we look like a 5-12 and 12 football team. And that's me being completely honest. Like, that, my next question to all of you guys is going to be based off what you've seen so far. What do you think your record prediction is going to be? And how much has it changed from your preseason prediction? I I would say, I would say that this Carol, if if the Eagles lose this game this week, uh, they're gonna they're gonna win maybe four games. I think if they win this game this week, I think they could win seven to eight games at most. Okay, bad dog. Yeah, geez. I mean, going into the year, I was thinking maybe nine or ten. Optimistic, but watching them play, um. I mean, if we, at this point, if we win six games, I think I'd be happy. God, this shit is so um, But again, I mean, like Phil, Phil just said, if if somehow, some way, the Giants were able to pull it off against Dallas, I think it changes the entire complexion of the season. This is a huge game for the Giants. Oh, I, I mean, man. it really is. Not so huge for Dallas. Dallas obviously wants to beat us. Jesus. Dallas can't let down because this really is the Giants' season. We dropped the one and four and own two in the division. You can kiss the goodbye. It's Thanks. over, but if they get within one game of Dallas and they're one and one in the division, then yeah. you never know. The Giants' schedule is brutal mm-hmm. coming up here. So there's not, if you look at it and you're being honest as a Giants fan, there's, there's probably not a lot of wins there that you look at on paper unless the team proves that they can do it. But the funny thing is, had they beat Washington and had they beat Atlanta, they were both there, but to take him, we're three and one. It's a completely yeah, different tune. It really is. So yeah. Yeah. I think this game against Dallas will be a really good measuring stick to see exactly where we are. So it's tough to say right now, but I, I think Sunday I'll have a better idea of exactly what the hell the New York Giants are because watching them against New Orleans, I'm like, well, Jesus, is that offense there the whole time? What what was that that we saw? That defense all of a sudden shut them <laughs> right. down. And Sean Payton had a bad game too. Sean Payton did a lot of stupid things. He didn't in that throw game. it to Kamara. I'm like, I don't I understand. Don't why, I don't know why he brought Taysom Hill in to throw deep. What the hell is that? I'm like, Jesus, what are you, no Joe idea. Judge? You trying to get cute here? That was stupid. But I'm like, okay, we'll take it. Um, but I don't, I don't know, man. Giants' schedule is tough, so we'll see. Sunday is going to tell us more. Hell I, yeah, and it, and that's big for the whole division. Like that game does a lot for all of us because if y'all yeah. beat the, oh, if y'all yeah. beat the Cowboys, that opens the shit up for everybody yeah. to be within reach. And if we yeah. somehow, if we beat the Saints Sunday and Dallas, you're loses, tied. You know we're right there. So I know, I know that you, I know Rio and Philly are rooting for my Giants. Oh, oh, yeah. Why, Giants. Why, why, listen, no, oh, it's my birthday. Hold it, it's my fifty-sixth <laughs> birthday. It. Y'all trying to ruin my birthday? <laughs> Come on, yes. man. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. That's, I, I my present. I have Mark, to- that's my present to you. The Giants upsetting you in Dallas. Mark Holmes, you're going to lose because you're not betting Pizzle. Read between the lines, Philly. Read between the lines there, buddy. <laughs> so, Mark, where, are you, where do you see y'all schedule? I mean, where do you see y'all record if you were to make a prediction based on what you've seen already? So I'm going to stick to where, where I was originally. 11 and 5. That's what I said to start the season. That's hey, impossible. 17 games, 17 games 17 Mark. Games. I'm sorry, 11 and 6. Excuse me, 11 and 6. 11 I and forgot. I, 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 listen, I'm turning 56. I'm old. I'm allowed to have a few senior hey. moments here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. You're losing. 
What? You turn in 56 on Sunday? We yeah. all know that the Lord greatest Taylor. player in the history of oh, the league wore 56. Taylor, De- yeah! Okay. I'm wearing all the 56 right. jersey. I should break, break it out right now. I'm breaking it out okay. right now. If, 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 if that's your whole hope for the game, you'd have lost there, buddy. You, were, you lost. Okay. All it's, not, it's upstairs. East, Otherwise, I would. I thought it was down here. It's upstairs. Like so, the just do some on NASA the Giants on Sunday. Let's go. They need to fuck the. They need to muck the whole division up and win this game versus Dallas. So let's do it. Then reach fifty six. Okay. Mark, you got bad mojo. No, nah, but no, but here's. But seriously though, the, the, the thing is, you're gonna lose some games thing. that you well, hello, shouldn't friends. lose. You're gonna win Joe some. That here. You, oh, see. <laughs> uh, no, listen, I'm t- no, no, no. You, you, you uh, bad dog, bad dog. Hello, let, friends, let me Cowboy let me let Joe you know. Boo. You don't want to fuck with Joe Boo. Because see, yes, Philly's, been, Philly's been trying it, to get his head it, cut it, off, and ever since he started talking about that, his house. shit has gone down the toilet there, buddy. We Man, really ain't got nowhere to go but up, Mark. You seen the Giants play the last four <laughs> years? What do I got to lose? Do it. Do it. Go oh, my Joe God. Boo. Y'all killing me. Y'all are killing Yo, me. Yo, man, bad dog, I know you're some NASA – you're you're in some NASA underground bunker, aren't you? <laughs> I was, I, I, you know, I, I, he went to go get his Florence Taylor j- shirt, and he's oh, like, "Oh, it's upstairs." It's upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just like looking at NASA. this background. I'm like, "Is that his <laughs> house?" For NASA, I'm like, "This dude. is some. That's a bad. That's a dope motherfucking house he got there." Hell. I'm like, "Shit, man! man if I had your house. I threw mine away." To keep me from telling everybody the truth. That we never went to the moon. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Hey, I believe, I, I believe, I believe that. I believe That's that. That's why I'm anyway. banned from okay. NASA. How, how about that they tell us the truth that the Eagles never won a Super Bowl moon before? You say what? How about they tell us the truth that the Eagles never won a Super Bowl? No, they won it. I saw it. Now, we saw that with our own eyes, but we've never seen no one on the fucking moon though. We ain't go to the moon. <laughs> ain't been in no goddamn moon. <laughs> Do you really work for NASA though? Because if if so, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. Sorry for saying I, don't. <laughs> I work for New York State. I don't. Well, I might. That much probably about the same as NASA, but uh, no, I don't. Work for it. True shit. I'm not smart true enough shit. to work for NASA. I, I think Bad Dog has been assigned to keep tabs on me. I don't know, man. I think you do it, me. man. I've been listening to you. I've heard your play by plays, man. I feel like you could work for NASA, man. That shit is. Impressive. I could be an auctioneer, maybe. But. <laughs> Well, okay. I tell you what, so, the way you have been lighting it into the the Giants after the games, and, you know, I love how you go, you, you start out, you're kind of calm and everything, and then all of a sudden you just just boil, and it's just like it, it happens. It, I try it, to be it, calm, Mark. Literally, a pissed. thing of beauty. The more the more I think about it, the more aggravated I get. I'm a Philly, tell you, it's a, it's an Italian thing, and I don't know what yeah. else to say. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, in, in Rio, I, I don't know how you still are a fan ambassador of the way you've been just, like, ripping a new one with the Washington <laughs> team. I'm hey, like, that's why they picked me, though. They picked me because I call it how I see it, and I'm not going to be a fucking yes man to the franchise because so, I love it. So Washington them. picked you as their, their, their I'm ambassador? One of, I'm one of the fan ambassadors. They started a thing this year. They're under Did new management. Did you tell them that they should get a name? Yeah, hell yeah, and I've and – I've, I've, been a part of the process of picking the name, and that's a great way to end this conversation. I was going to ask each of you guys what you guys think that our name should be. Like, an unbiased outsider's opinion, what should the name of the Washington football team be? And do not say Washington football team. I'm going to fucking boot you. I don't want to hear that. No, please no. Everyone says that. Everybody I've asked, oh, like, football team's fine. No, the fuck it's not. It sounds fucking ridiculous. How about the Washington scumbags? <laughs> <laughs> it would be on brand <laughs> because because the po- all them politicians and corruption over there. That's the Washington true. scumbags. It actually was fitting. <laughs> the swamp. You'd be the Washington hookers, didn't you? Have probably you know Dwayne Haskins brought all them in. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! He's making it rain one dollar bills after right. He lost Washington hookers. That's game. not bad. No, I like that. There's a ring to that. You know? <laughs> the Washington. All right, How Mark. What you got? Washington crime and punishment. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I don't know. Like, oh boy, do, do you do you have a list of names that they're working on? I know you probably can't <laughs> I share. I think with the us, fan but... favorite is some type of wolf name, like red wolf, like red wolf, oh, like or red wolf, wolves, red wolves, wolf pack, something in the variation of wolf. It's been a fan favorite for over a year now, and that would be my preference. Honestly, just like Washington wolves, I like the alliteration of it, and I think leave red out of it just to because we're moving forward and forging a new identity. People like the commanders, uh, 
the people who bring it back to history, they want the hogs, which I think is fucking ridiculous. The name of the team. generals, yeah, the generals that, that like that was and people like the fucking armada, the brigade, and all this stupid DC centric metropolitan type shit. But I like the name with the wolves. But regardless of what they pick, they can sell whatever to me as long as the uniforms look good, the merch looks better, and we win some fucking games. But Philly, what about the Washington Bigfoots? Washington Bigfoots, yeah. Why not? Philly I mean, like I don't a know Bigfoot they over there with that beard. <laughs> hey, dude, when I get a couple chins going, I'll, I'll shave them all the home. You know? <laughs> you got to go to Bad Dog Boot Camp. I, don't, I, don't I, know, I, really got, I got kicked out the last time. Oh, Stop Lord. drinking oh, yeah, the cold bad, red, damn Bad Dog be in the gym gym. Yeah, I seen it. I seen your social media, man. He be killing it. I need to get there myself, but somebody got to do it. I'm old. I'm almost as old as Mark Holmes, man. You know, I'm getting up there. Well, you must be doing something right. Cause I look like I'm 56 years old. <laughs> you don't look anywhere near me. You must've found I'm the not. fountain of youth. I'm 45. Oh shit. Oh yeah, man. But Fuck, I, I got scars. All I appreciate that. all three of you guys. You guys fucking do excellent work on YouTube for coming on with me, a YouTube Welcome. peasant trying to grow my channel. Thank you for coming, bringing your, bringing your subscribers with you and bringing the fucking energy. You guys go ahead and promote your shit, even though everyone owes you already, and we can get the fuck out of here for the night. Um, Good, Mark. You're in first place, and you're the oldest. Hell yeah. Hey, thanks, everybody, for uh, watching this and stuff. We've been simulcasting this on my uh, YouTube channel here. Everybody who's on watching, the 689 people, definitely Absolutely. go over and troll Philly 500. Tell him that he's a dingbat, okay? Go on over to Bad Dog if you want to get your laugh on. Watch them after uh, they get a loss because he literally rips them a new one. Like I said, it's like a slow roll till he finally gets in there. I've been a fan all my life, and this is the kind of shit that you put on the field. Mark, it's like the a film. You, you don't give it to him right away. You got to build it up, and then to bang the climax. Oh, you know? yeah. And then you got to check out Rio. Rio, shout out to Rio for bringing us all here together. I think Absolutely. everybody's had a great time with this Rio. Um, he is, whenever they're not playing at FedEx Field, he plans on being over here, and rumor has it that he may sneak out on some of those late-season games to hang out here because he said this place is a lot better than FedEx Field. But definitely check out <laughs> Rio, uh, Rambling with Rio, because he's rambling every Monday after a loss. I mean, and he's he, getting close to 1,000 subscribers, which that's is, right. is a milestone. For there you go. YouTube and so all later. you guys that helped me get no, over 40,000 last get night. Him there. Help Everybody him get there. That's the all like I got to say. Smash that subscribe, man, because I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get into the stature of these gentlemen. Philly, go ahead and sign off, man. Oh uh, man, well, thank you for having us. Uh, it was a blast. I'm glad we were able to do this. Um, After I'm many glad. pushbacks, by the way, <laughs> we, we we've been dying to do this. There's just something's always going on. We made we yeah. made it happen now. <laughs> well, we made it happen, but but it was fun. It was a great time, and and um, yeah, I mean. Mark, I give Mark tons of shit. I love him. I give Bad Dog tons of shit, but I love him too. Um, and uh, yeah, just thanks for having us on. Absolutely. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea what to say about my team except for right now we stink, <laughs> and it's very frustrating. Um, but hopefully we're still better than the Giants. <laughs> hey, listen, if there's any solace in my seasons, it's watching the fact that the Eagles suck. <laughs> That's how bad it is over here. <laughs> Uh, I hope we can turn it around, but uh, no. Th thanks for having us on, sir. Absolutely, real. You the man. You keep up the good work, man. Like it's 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 tough to grow, so you know it, it's always this is this is the best thing about the YouTube community or this the sports community is like Philly said, man. You know, I I obviously hate the Eagles with a passion, but yeah. I love working with Philly five hundred. I, I you know Philly five hundred the man. Same thing with Mark. I got to work with Mark again. It's just it's tough, man. I'm I'm. I, I mean, there's always something going on with me. I mean, I got a four year old. I work a full time job. I go to the gym. It's not a lot of time, but Mark's really good people too, man. I really like Mark. Mark's a, a really good dude. I freaking hate the Cowboys, and I know that his 56th birthday is going to bring good luck to the Giants because that's Taylor's number. I'm feeling it, Mark. <laughs> now that you told me that, I think Joe oh, Boone just uh, cursed. Okay, I think you're right, dude. I, I, I think, think you're so. exactly right. Too bad you're at NASA. You can't go get that jersey. Hell yeah. I'll have it out on Sunday, though. I'll, I'll be making sure to point out this is how old Mark Holmes is today. He left the room and realized where he was at. He was yeah, he's in his underground right bunker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
man. But he's ready for Armageddon. But I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody in the chat for stopping by my first live stream. And we're going to probably do this again in another four weeks. We can do it every four quarters of the season. You'll see me on their channels, and I'll be making fun of these guys if I can because, you know, I see a lot of L's in our short future. But you know what? Hell you can still make fun of them. Look at it. Hey, Phil, Phil will probably have a fifth Real chin by then. <laughs> Don't stop me from doing it. Hell yeah, but until next time, hail to the nameless football team. Deuces. No names. All right. <laughs> Appreciate you guys, man. Uh, this shit no was problem. fun as hell. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. good. It was good. Hell. And yeah. for my uh, crowd there, I'll be back at 9 p.m. I will see y'all soon. He's streaming. Yeah, I'm streaming.